Students and staff at Burnsville High School are grieving the loss of a popular student athlete. The 17 year old was killed and three others were injured when their SUV rolled over last night. Ty Elia, and, uh, who's a shortstop and a pitcher on the baseball team, was ejected from the vehicle and killed. Cole Borchardt is in critical condition. He's a Burnsville grad who was a top scorer on the hockey team last winter. As Bill Hudson explains, while family and friends grieve, investigators say seat belts could have made a difference. Just weeks before students returned to Burnsville High School, tragedy hit hard. 17-year-old Ty Elie would have been an incoming senior. Instead, friends are learning about his terrible loss. I went to bed and woke up and he was gone. Brennan Przinski was Ty's teammate on the Blaze baseball team. He calls Ty the shortstop and captain, the team's Derek Jeter. Ty was just an outgoing guy, happy guy. Just everything he did, he did with 100%. He was just an absolutely phenomenal athlete. Ty was killed last evening when the SUV he was riding in rolled over on Highway 52 near Coates. Friend and hockey star Cole Borkart was critically injured. State Patrol investigators say neither one was belted in. We see this as something that certainly could have been prevented had those two young men been wearing seatbelts in the back seat. Ty and three friends, all fellow Burnsville athletes, were returning from Cannon Falls after a day of swimming and cliff diving. He was extremely talented, but we lost a good person. Um, the relationships that we create with our players, and uh, I can't, I'm sorry. Coach Mick Scholl calls Ty a leader off the field as well. Friends say it's a loss that's being felt far beyond the baseball diamond. Whenever something was down, you always make you smile, make you laugh. Investigators still don't know what caused the driver to lose control. There was no evidence of alcohol use. There is a vigil for the boys at 630 tonight at Burnsville High School.